well come back ladies and gentlemen to my channel and to today we are back in the the sweet sid sounds of the commodore 64 now i'm pretty certain where it says cracked by 0101 it used to say music by rob hubbard because it should do because this music is one of hubbard's greatest uh, tunes it's so good uh, you've obviously listened to it there if you haven't you've skipped here go back and listen because it's fantastic now crazy comics is the the first game uh the follow-up mega apocalypse is a similar game but with an interesting twist on being able to turn which way your ship's facing um and you can also have two player on it which is superb and also there's a revamped uh, different type of rob hubbard score on it uh, now i have the original version of this and i'm a bit annoyed that it says cracked by there because this is the only disc version this is the only d64 version i can find online uh, and indeed it came with um, the Vice collection that I originally got years ago. But I have met Simon Nickel, actually, at a Back in Time event in London. Um, I remember me and my brother speaking to him and saying to him how great Crazy Comics was. Uh, he's a lovely guy, Simon Nickel. Very unassuming guy, but just top, top lad. And this game is a classic. This is one of those games that you used to put on when you came home from school. And it's bullet hard, so let's just get into it. Now the music does some weird stuff because of the channels. Oh god, already there's a planet. Now the idea is to actually shoot these before they turn into planets. And I think you're supposed to have a rock. Oh god. <clears throat> I think when you make them go supernova. Oh gee whiz, I tell you what, this game is friggin' difficult. However, when you collide, it looks like you actually destroy the thing. Now, if I remember rightly, you're supposed to stay as high as possible because this... That didn't work. It can only bring three full planets on the screen at any one time, which is good to remember. Oh, God. Now, in the bottom corner, it says we have one rocket. Now, the rocket should frick you in the eyeball. Listen to that. And then you've got this sort of like uh, discordant version uh, when you die, which is fantastic. Hey, we're top of the leaderboard. Who cares? Admittedly, the leaderboard had nothing on it. Okay, let's go. Thank you. Now, it does say R1 in the bottom corner, and I, I'm just trying to work out how you fire the rockets. And if you shoot the planets before they become big, 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 there you go they don't get a chance to become big. It's only when they become fully grown planets uh, do they become a bit of a nightmare. Come on. Get up, get up, get up. And the planets sort of follow you. I'm not sure how I died there. I think the comet... Oh, God. The crazy comet appeared. Look at it in the middle there. You're not supposed to shoot those. You're supposed to pick them up. Oh my god. Wow. In a bucket. This game is tricky, tricky, dicky. Shut up. Let's go. I can't believe we got a better score than I did and actually put my name in. That's uh, ridiculous. Now you see where it says R down there in the bottom corner? Um, I believe on Mega Apocalypse it used to just fire the rockets off when the um, planets became mental. Now, I think the best thing to do is stay high. Oh, my God. Because the planets sort of follow you. Jesus. Got the satellite there. Interesting. Now, you, sp you keep shooting them until they go crazy. And I think there are three levels of crazy. So that's level one. Oh! But that planet, oh god. Oh my Christ, this game is so difficult. We made it through to round two by death. So I used to put this on just for the music, obviously, because we used to do that a lot on the 64. But also, just for one of those games that you. Oh, hey, I sly and dick, beer dweller. Just because you used to kind of 
come home from school and you wanted something to play, so you would whack something on, but you wanted you just wanted something quick. And I remember this this was released on Martech, if I remember rightly, and it was a really quick load. So you could kind of get in, and get a little game, but also listen to some decent music whilst you're doing your homework. Get killed, get killed. Okay, okay. I'm gonna get this one. And I think we might have to push the fire button to fire off the um the rocket. Yeah, that can't be right. I don't think I, I succeeded there. I can't quite remember how to fire off the rocket. It might be space button. Space button? Who has a space button? Nobody. Nobody. Yes. You see the way that the game worked? Oh, Jesus. You've got to be very careful. As soon as it becomes a full planet, it will kill you. But if it's... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Simon, Nickel, you made this first game so difficult. Oh man, it's hard. Mega Apocalypse um, is, no, is nowhere near as difficult. Mainly because you can twist your ship. When you hold down the fire button, your ship stops moving. And you can pivot your ship in a direction to fire. And then whenever you release a move, you're, you're facing that direction. It's kind of interesting. I was just trying to work out if there was a button that did the, um, the rocket. But... I was always under the impression that you, the rocket fired itself. On Mega Apocalypse, the rockets sort of spin around your ship, so you can actually see them. I'm doing well here, this is alright. Now the key is when they go crazy, is you just gotta get in there. And get killed! So yeah, that's the way. But then when you, you hear that refrain come through, you hear the Hubbard, and you just, you can't, don't do it, you just can't help but think, I don't care, it's amazing. Even though I'm, you know, this is a classic Viper from Elite I'm flying here. Always an Elite connection. Okay, he's... You know, now we got two. Now you see, what they do actually sort of home in on you. Yes, I killed one. I actually shot one. Now I've got two more. This is horrific. Horrific, horrific. Jones! Mm -hmm. Come on. No, the Comet. The Comet. <laughs> Oh man! But still, I mean, uh, can I get? Can I? I think I got to level three, didn't I? Let's see if we can get at least to level three again. It's a beautiful game, guys. It's so much fun to play, even though it's it's brutally difficult. As long as you can get in there quick and get them killed. Yeah, look at that. That's the way to do it. But I think you get more points if you allow the planets to um, form. I'm on you, babies. Yeah. Like Comet. Any Comets? That one came in fully. There was the Comet. No, oh, the Comet is, is spawning on me. Yes, killed you, you little bugger. And then we can pick these up. <laughs> right, come on. Let's do it. I got you. Oh, he came in hot. He came in hard. Came in big. Come on. No, no, no. <laughs> you just find yourself screaming. No. Six goes all alike in appallingness. Simon Nickel, you absolute bastard. Come on, let's do it. Yes. Come on, one more. Don't you grow. Oh, it looks like an earth as well, but it's kind of a nice spinning uh, globe effect. Okay, it's gone mental. Yeah, we got him. We got him. Although I didn't get as many points, actually. So I think when you allow them to grow, you get less points. Which is weird. Oh, Rob Hubbard. You are a legend my friend oh I hit it another back in oh my god I then I hit the comet which spawned up there no look at this comet trying to spawn on me you evil comet met Rob Hubbard as well actually uh, quite recently at the um, uh, the symphonic the 8-bit symphony um, back in time whole concert which was fantastic oh you shiny Sweet Prince. 
Uh, and, he, and he's another super duper uh, chap. He's very unassuming as well. Um, still vaguely flabbergasted that so many people uh, love his music. Okay, this will be the last go. I'm going to make it a good one. Come and play Crazy Comets, ladies and gentlemen. Get it on your vice emulator. Boot it up on your actual machine. It's friggin' great fun. Come on now. This is not a good start. Oh, that's a, I got him. I got him. I got him. That is it. That's how you play the game, ladies and gentlemen. whoop -a! Yes. Come on. Oh, listen to that lead coming through. I want to get you. Oh, he didn't let me. No. And then, the, then another fully formed planet just sort of came in. Hello. I'm going to kill you. No, Comet. Comet's gone. Okay, right. We just got one. No. Mm -mm, no, Mr. Mannering. Where is this Comet? Is he gone? Yes. <laughs> okay, come on. Now, it does say we've got three rockets, but I don't know how to use them. Don't know how to use rockets. Got a package, people. No! Flip it, heck! What is he doing? What the hell was that thing doing? Let me just see if I can... In the time it takes me... to just oh, rock out to this tune. I wonder if... How to use rockets on crazy comets. <laughs> how to use rockets on crazy comets. Nope. It just gives me a load of old tut about fireworks. What a nightmare. Damn it. God, it was a good game. Now, I'd never played the um, the sort of original clone uh, Mad Planets. I think it was called. Cool. Oh shit! It. Um, but I think this you can't beat this game for a for a one-off. Come on, I got you, buddy. I got you. Look at our score now. We are we are flying with the score. We're still on like round one. Oh, did I get it? No, I got killed. Okay, I lost the ship. I lost the ship. So now I can see that when we pick up those things with the comet at the end of from round two onwards, they are actually rockets. Only I knew how to fire them. The, oh shit! It, punk, punk, come on, punk! Oh, he just, just, just nip, 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 nip. Pop, pop, pop. Oh god, there's another one. Come on, comet! Oh, Geeling is. Surprisingly untasty. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Crazy comets for you. What a what a cracker. It's so much fun. It is so much fun. I'll leave you with a little bit of music, but not much because all the music's at the beginning. Uh, let's have more Commodore 64, shall we? Let's have more. <laughs> 